This award recognizes a Virginian who has made significant individual efforts to better our environment. Nominees are judged on the basis of vision, expertise, commitment, integrity, and communication skills, which includes their diplomacy. The award is named for VMI Professor Ron A. Urschel, the founder of the Environment Virginia Symposium. I'm very pleased this year to have Captain Urschel's daughter, Maria, who's sitting right back there. Maria, raise your hand, thank you, who is here with us today to celebrate her father's legacy to VMI and to the state of Virginia in the form of this conference. Can we give Maria a round of applause? I'd, I'd like to invite the recipient of the 2015 Urschel Award, Mr. Jack Fry, to the podium to assist in the presentation of the award. Jack? Well, that certainly was, was uh, a, a great presentation. And uh, I want you to know that from the nominations that we received for the 2016 Urschel Environmental Leadership Award, uh, many of you participated in the online voting that went the field a panel of judges then comprised of past award winners selected this year's winner. We want to thank all of the individuals that took their time and the effort to put together the nominations and submit them for this year. The list of all the nominees, if, you're, if you haven't seen it already, is in the back of your program along with past winners of the award. And the wonderful fact is that, that not only here and, and the attendees at Environment Virginia, but all across this state, there's lots of environmental leaders out there uh, working day in and day out to better our environment. And that's something we can all be proud of and, and maybe now even have some greater challenges to, to do in that role. Uh, it's, it was a hard choice this year uh, to winter that field down and, and finally the panel of judges was able to unanimously select a single candidate for this year's winner. Colonel Gray, would you uh, announce the winner please? read the nomination. Dr. Mark Edwards, a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Virginia Tech, exemplifies the critical leadership role that engineers, scientists, and the academic community can serve to protect the public and our water resources. Dr. Edwards was asked by the people of Flint, Michigan to come to their aid and because of the work he's done in Washington, D.C. a decade ago, he was recognized for his expertise. His engagement of Virginia college students in an effort to document and call attention to the drinking water crisis in Flint exemplifies Captain Urchel's lifelong commitment to educating and empowering the next generation of natural resource leaders. The Flint water study team led by Dr. Edwards uncovered serious flaws not only in water testing by Michigan state agencies, but also a general breakdown in the longstanding system of public health safeguards the team sought to support citizen science and empower Flint residents to use their expertise to study the impacts of water infrastructure and to communicate findings to inform decision makers. In the process, Dr. Edwards has helped to redefine the ideal of science in service to the public. Dr. Dr. Edwards and his team fought to secure the recognition by local, state, and federal officials of dangerous lead levels in Flint, Flint's public drinking water supply. He persevered to this goal despite the financial and professional challenges that it presented, including lost friendships, damaged professional networks, and spending thousands of dollars of his own money. The goals of the Virginia Tech Flint water study team that Dr. Edwards assembled and led 
speak to the virtues of the Urschel Environmental Leadership Award, vision, integrity, commitment, and expertise. But in this case, I also think we need to truly recognize the raw courage that it takes to stay the course and do what is right. As the students on Dr. Edwards' team complete their studies and begin their careers, Virginia citizens and our environment will also benefit from their trusted expertise and from their courage to apply that expertise. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2016 Urschel Award winner, Mark Edwards. Well, this is uh, really extraordinary and, and frankly humbling. I think when, when I got to 40 years old, I, because of DC, I kind of had a, a midlife crisis. It's not the normal midlife crisis. I, I never in my wildest dreams thought given where I'd been, that science and engineering would be used to hurt people. And it was horrifying to me to see that. And to explain that, I had to relearn things that, that I should have been taught in school, frankly. And I, I thought about who my role models were, and I rethought my priorities in my life. And amongst the biographies I read, uh, Stonewall Jackson, quite a character. Hugh Thompson, uh, amazing story of a, the whistleblower at My Lai who exposed the massacre that occurred and paid a horrible price over it for 30 years and is now the exemplary role model being taught at war colleges all around the country. Peter Buxton who exposed the Tuskegee human experiment at CDC and had to fight for eight years to bring that experiment to a stop. And when I read of the biography of Mr. Urschel and all the amazing things that he did and how it played into this education here uh, at VM VMI that honors integrity and tries to build moral courage, it's really, it's really just a huge honor. So thank you so much for really appreciating it.